candles, fibs, crosses, EMAs. It's the tools of the day trade. Don't be a noob and trade on websites that don't give you BitBoy bonuses. Click the link in the description to get set up on Bybit or Femex and get an insane sign-up bonus for being part of the Bit Squad. Leverage trade responsibly, but do it the right way on Femex or Bybit. Bonus details in the links below. BitBoy Crypto Morning TA. Good morning, everybody. It's November 2nd, 2021. My name is Piano Matty B. That is Scaramucci's. And this is your morning TA. A brief glimpse into the crypto markets where the sun's shining, where the wind's blowing, all the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni, bringing the data. The FOMO index has dipped down to 73 from yesterday's 74. Bitcoin dominance is at 43.8%. 24-hour volume is at 130 billion. And the overall market cap is 2.65 trillion. Give or take 100 million. Starting out on the weekly, we can see how we've really been bobbing for apples here. At 61K for a solid three weeks. The last time we saw this type of market, Xanadu, indecision, equilibrium, call it what you will, was back in the end of June when we were in our Chop Suey channel of 35K. The subsequent pump took us to 51K, a gain of 60%. Now reliving that past life would take us from here to 98K, fractalaneously speaking, of course. Over on the daily, we can make an argument that we've already broken out of our bull flag and are now testing it as support. Giving it some dad knocks, walking around it, nodding, saying, mm hmm yeah, I like it, yeah. I'd like it even more if we can, with the help of the 20 moving average, ride her up to 63.5 and Dusseldorf back down and give 63 some dad knocks as well. We'll make it an honorary sheriff of support, if you will. We can write that letter home and tell our family that we've broken out of the bull flag. We're heading back up to all time highs. We can also see a gavotte triangle within the flag that is spring-loaded. She's waiting to pop. Now I'd feel a little better if that MACD would curl up, but you know it is a lagging indicator. So when it does curl up, it will be telling us what we already know. And that's we've broken up and out of the bull flag. But sometimes it's nice to hear that your makeup looks good and that your shoes are cat. Over on the four hour chart, we hit 62.4, only to be rejected once again. And we took it so hard, we blew past the 20, said we don't even deserve your support. Feeling ever more sorry for ourselves, we dove past the 50 and finally gathered ourselves up, wiped the mascara from our eyes and started back up. Apologized to the 50 and the 20, and as of right now, we're hovering over both. I did feel a collective for crying out loud moment yesterday. As we sulk back down to 60K, it's like that buddy who always loses. There comes a time when you just have to call him a loser and stop making excuses for his behavior. We tend to get addicted to the predictability of not winning. It's easy. I mean, the vast majority of people are quite good at it, losing that is. And there's really only room for a small few at the top. I'm not sure if it's a sick degen in me or the natural born contrarian DNA I carry. But I find life in the challenge easy as boring and I'll pass on it once I've figured it out. It's in the battles that we grow as people and investors and it's patience that carries us to that winner circle.
between the constant left hooks from the legacy financial FUD packers and their established media representatives. And the dull din of naysayers, people who just don't have enough knowledge of the crypto markets, but somehow still have an opinion about it. It can get tough. But listening to that BS is what got them there and will keep them there. It's in their DNA to accept things that are given to them as unwritten rule of law. Listening to the crowd, which is made up of not only financial FUD packers, but sometimes our family and friends, can weigh you down. We are at the precipice of a parabolic bull run that will give this small community of early adopters life-changing gains and quite possibly change your life and the lives of people around you forever. And at the end of the day, if you want to lead the orchestra, you have to be prepared to turn your back on the crowd. So remember, we're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected lead. That's right, it's the long game. So zoom out and have a fantastic day. A bit boy crypto morning tea. Ooh. Ch-ch-ch-ch.